What's good, y'all? So, I want to get into something that the OG himself, AMS, has talked about. It's helped me out. Self-improvement. And let me get into that actually real quick. I've always tried to make myself better every day. Like, the next day I wake up, I'm trying to be better than I was yesterday. Or, I made a mistake here, well, I ain't making that mistake again. That's a tough trait to have. What AMS helped me do was focus that, direct that energy, direct it to a goal. But here's the thing, y'all. Like, he said that so many times, but it seems like it goes in one ear out another. I know that's what a lot of you guys, a lot of y'all will sit here and ask a question and I answer it or I got a video topic on the same shit and then ask the same question the next video or the next live stream. You know, so I, I know that a lot of the shit's going in one ear and out of the other. What I want to give y'all is kind of an experience I've been having with this. Now, keep in mind, I've been making videos for a year now. I already know it's a change in not only myself, how I'm acting, the decisions I'm making, the things that come to me too, women, opportunities, whatever it is, all because of self-improvement. Y'all think this shit is a joke, but it's real fucking talk. Like the women that I would go for a year ago and the women I go for now, I got a totally different mindset about it. I got this kind of like, you know, I can take it or leave it. The chicks from last year that I wanted to smash, I'm like, shit, I, I don't really care if I do or not now. It's not that like, my scale of attraction is still the same. You a seven, you cute, eight is pretty, Nine is bad, but the quality, the type of women I'm trying to go with now is totally different. If I see a girl, I can pick up on hints now as to when a female is on some bullshit or not, right? I can tell if this chick, okay, I've seen this scenario before. I've already been through this scenario. I'm not finna waste my time with this. I don't care how bad she is, cause guess what? I'll have another option tomorrow. Guys, when you're going out, and you got girls choosing left and right. Why, why y'all so pissed off about choosing signals? Who the f you don't get choosing signals, bro? Do you know why you don't get no fucking choosing signals? It's cause you ain't self-improving. That's the only time I hear bullshit about choosing signals. Wait for choosing. Guys are like, oh, choosing signal. The only people that wait for choosing signals are beta male. How does that make any sense? When you've been approving yourself and you don't give a fuck about what anybody else got to say, you just been grinding, working hard on your, I'm talking about every avenue of yourself. Maybe now you shave uh, three times a week instead of once. Maybe now you training on yourself, you working out four times a week instead of two. Maybe you drinking more water today, you, your body's healthier. I don't know what the hell it is, but obviously if you've been taking the steps in the right direction, Women gonna notice that shit. They gonna pick up on that. That's when you get choosing signals. You ain't finna get no choosing signals if you just sit there and complain about the shit and you're not even trying to make yourself better. Of course you ain't finna get no choosing signals, bro. It's not finna happen. But when you actually take this shit seriously and not let it just fly in here and go out over there, when you take this shit seriously, self-improvement, let me say that shit again, self-improvement. That's up to you. That's up to you. I can talk about this for days, but it's always up to you. Everybody gonna do whatever the fuck they wanna do at the end of the day. When you actually take that shit seriously, you'll be out with your boys, or maybe, no matter of fact, you'll go out by yourself, and you won't have to worry about meeting nobody. You won't have to worry about knowing nobody. You just finna walk around, smooth, calm, collected. Bitches gonna be looking at you, choosing you, and you ain't did nothing. All you did was walk to the bar. Bartender might even give you a free drink. Who the fuck knows? That's the kind of abundance that comes to you when you self-improve. I'm telling you. You'll have chicks blowing your phone up. Three in the morning. But you already with the chick you just met tonight. You ain't got to worry about, oh, I'm busy. Are you with another girl? What the hell you think? Okay then, let it ride. What you gotta be worried about? You've been self-improving yourself. You don't have to, you wouldn't be asking the question of, how do I go out alone? What am I supposed to do in a situation like this? 
Because when you actually take that care of yourself, you're going to be able to step back and be like, you know what? I don't even want this energy around me. I don't even need to be associated with these people over here because they just giving me bad vibes. You're going to notice the type of things that you attract. You'll just start going with the flow. You're going to start living life and just letting things happen. Because good things will happen when you do that. I'm telling you, great things will happen. My bad, great things when you self-improve. And that's not even just dealing with women, bro. Your lifestyle's finna change, man. Your lifestyle's finna change. The things that you were okay with before, you're not okay with. You know what, this right here is stressing me out. This job right here is stressing me out. I'm finna find a way to supplement my income. I'm finna find a way without this job because I can't deal with this job. This job is totally fucking me up. I can't spend another day here. Have a plan for sure, have a plan. But that's all a part of the self-improvement. You plan it. You plan to, to make your move. You're going to start noticing when shit goes wrong and you just got to get out of a spot. You are going to start saying no to people. How simple does that sound? No. Two letters, right? But nobody tells other people no. Like, nah, bro, I don't feel like chilling tonight. I'm going to do my own thing tonight. I don't feel like hanging out tonight. A lot of y'all just, you know, want to please other people. When you self-improvement, you don't give a fuck. You're about yourself. You're about your own health. Mental health, physical health, spiritual health. You're about supporting yourself. It sounds selfish, but you got to be selfish out here because everybody else trying to take your energy. Everybody else trying to take your good vibes. Protect your shit. That's what you'll be doing when you self-improve. I'm not worried about what the fuck these people over here think about me. Oh, they're snickering over there. Fuck you. It doesn't matter, man. When you self-improve, you can overcome depression. For y'all out there that are going through something, you can overcome anything through self-improvement. Anything. I promise. No sounds simple, but people always try to get you to do something. If you are an extroverted person, that has a that's a double-edged sword. When it's time to be extroverted, when it's time to get out there, have some fun, mingle with people, prospect some new females, whatever it is, you still got to be able to differentiate yourself from other people. And matter of fact, when you out there, you know, giving out all this energy, that shit is draining. That shit drains you. When you don't self-improve, you cannot protect your energy. That's the key right there. You have people all in your ear, this, that, this, that. That's the most important time to be able to say no to people. When you got people all in your ear and in your face wanting you to do this, pulling you over here, say no. You'd be surprised how much relief you get from saying no. Whatever you find important, self-improvement got an answer for it. Telling you. Y'all so fixated on getting girls. Self-improvement first. They gonna see it. They gonna feel it. It's not even about seeing it. They're gonna feel it. I don't care. You don't gotta go out and buy a bunch of Louis once you, you start making a bunch of money. Fendi, Prada, whatever freaking brand you wanna throw out there. You don't gotta buy Giuseppe's for them to see that you shine. They gonna feel it off of you. I have to ignore females. I don't have enough time for them. Really. I've been working on this for a long time now. AMS has helped me direct this focus on self-improvement. My life has only gotten better. So I'ma continue doing it. I'ma continue ignoring these hoes I don't wanna talk to. The hoes from a year ago that wasn't feeling me and now they feeling me now. You keep that shit moving. Self-improvement, key. Focus, goals. That's what I'm about. That's that's it. You can hate all you want. You should have took the opportunity when you had it, but I'm glad you didn't because I probably wouldn't be where I'm at now.